Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. So what am I using? Today I'm using a soap from an artisan based out of Texas called Murphy and McNeil. And my soap of choice today is called Green Man Fougere. Now it's pretty much what it says on the tin. Um, it's a Fougere scent, it's their take on Fougere. Um, I've used their soaps already off camera and they're excellent. Uh, they lather very, very well. They have fantastic slickness, very good residual slickness, and a great co shave. So they're a pleasure to use, and I'm happy to bring these to you. Um, I'll give you a bit of a background on the artisan then. So, as far as I'm aware, the artisan doesn't have any kind of like uh, blood connections to kind of Celtics, I guess, but he really, really likes Celtic folklore. Um, and he's integrated that with his labeling and his branding. Um, as you can see kind of here, the, um, all of his soaps will have, I think this is the tree of life on here. Um, the tree of life obviously being what it is, a tree of life. Uh, everything, all of his soaps will kind of go along there. Uh, it's really cool, a really good idea when it comes to branding as well. So um, the scent for this, it is a fougere scent. It's very green, like that's really the only thing I I cannot, it's very well blended. I, I can't necessarily pick out a, like a dominant note over any of the others. It's really pleasant anyway, um, let's just say that. So that's my soap today, I'm looking forward to bringing that. My razor of choice, I'm looking for a mild razor today, which is what I'm gonna be using the the uh, Edwin Jagger DE89. Um, inside inside this is a second use um, Gillette Nasset blade. My brush of choice is going along with kind of like the green, the green theme. I'm going to be using my Zen Garden Wolf Whiskers Custom with a black wolf knot here. Here is the uh, Wolf Whiskers coin. And I'll go over the aftershave when we do it. So I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna prep my face. Um, ignore the kind of scrapes and bruises on my face. When you do jujitsu a lot, um, this is gonna happen occasionally, you know? So uh, I've not been attacked by a pack of wolves. I've, To be fair, if I was attacked by a pack of wolves, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, I've not gotten to some absurd bar fight. It is just jujitsu, it happens. Um, I've had to explain to quite a lot of my previous employers why my face is fucked up, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go away and prep that fucked up face and I'll see you guys for the first pass. I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, so I've loaded my brush. Let's get the uh, kind of loose soap on the puck here and add that to the face. It's quite a lot. It's very creamy. Um, I would describe this soap as a um, softer side, not, not very firm from the puck, so you don't particularly need to bloom it. So all I have on my face is just water at the moment. Okay, that's done. So give it a good spread. This stuff is a pleasure to work with. Um, it's very well made. To be honest, for his first soap base, he's knocked out of the park. Um, very impressed. Okay, so we've got it loaded, as you can see. It's quite dry at the moment, and we're obviously gonna incrementally add water, so let's, let's just get started. So yes, the nature of jiu-jitsu is getting scrapes and bruises on your face. Um, it's good fun though. So this stuff can take water, um, a lot of water. There's not, a, there's a huge hydration band on it so you can keep going.
However, I have found is extremely easy to lather. So, um, yeah. So if you didn't hear that, you heard a really loud engine. It's difficult to explain how loud that must be for you to fucking hear it. Um, so I've got quite a few soap, new soaps in, um, kind of as I said in the last video. Uh, so pretty much every video for the next, potentially even two months, I like to do about two videos a week. So you'll see a new soap in every one of those videos. I mean, you can see the ladder's getting there, so. I've told you before, I like to push lather to its limits. In my experience, there's some where you just can't and they are very, very thirsty and can just keep taking water. I found that with Noble Otter and I found that with uh, uh, holy Cool. Yesterday I used Holy Cool for a shave and I was hydrating it for a good 15 minutes. Um, and it was obviously very well hydrated, but I could have gone quite a lot further. So dip the tips again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm kind of happy with the consistency here, so I'm gonna smooth it out. More water will be added, but in a different method. Okay. I think doing it the way I'm about to do it just puts soap to the next level. So I'm gonna wet the tips again, and I'm just gonna paint water in, incrementally. I want it to have this really nice glossy texture. I mean, that's very shiny. If you see that there, the peaks, peak test. There are some soft peaks there, some good peaks. Um, it's not the highest structure lather you're ever gonna get, however, very slick and very good. We can keep adding water. I understand these parts of my videos have just gotten longer and longer, but I really, really enjoy building the lava. It's one of my favorite parts. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, look how slick that soap is that gloss on my face. So that's a clean up. The CBD line. Okay, so we've got our D89. Uh, I'll actually show you the another on the brush. It's very glossy as you can see. Okay, Edwin Jagger, D89, let's go with the gray. Very smooth, very slick. So, as I've said,
I've used this soap uh, previously and I've managed to figure out how to dial it in. It's very good. Like that's pretty much what I can say. It's very good. How does it compare to the best of the best? Um, I would say that it's extremely close. If I was giving well, I think the best of the best is Noble Otter and Holy Cool at 10. This would be a nine. Kind of along with decorating grooming. I put this on part of the Icarus base for sure. As far as I'm aware, this is these guys' first soap base, which is fucking mad. To just come out of the traps like that is uh, very impressive. So I'll rinse the face and check for residual slickness. So it's funny, these scrapes and shit on my face, they don't hurt. I can't really feel they're there. So what happened, is it's not from strikes or anything, because there is no striking in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, imagine what judokas wear, so people that do judo, they wear these thick jackets. You kind of have to wear that in Jiu-Jitsu as well. And it's just the case of basically having a carpet burn, because <laughs> that's basically what it is. Okay, let's check for slickness. Wow, it's very slick. Uh, slickness test, so I'll come up close. I genuinely believe I could do a full pass on that. Um, outstanding. Outstanding. Uh, This is really, really good stuff. Let's try the add water test on the second pass. See if we can take even more. Oh, yes, it can. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, paint a bit of water in. Fantastic. Soap is a pleasure to use, that's what I can say. Really, really is. I mean, it's it's on par. It's not it's not on par. There's a few things. The slickness is excellent. I wouldn't say it's probably. I probably wouldn't say it's as slick as the top two I mentioned before. For, in my opinion, anyway. Um, let's go cross grain here.
Actually, you know what? It probably is, you know. Um, residual slickness is there in abundance. Like really there in abundance. To where I'm pretty sure I could just do a full pass on residual slickness alone. And I can't do that with many rays, with many soaps. So with this, uh, with this razor, I pretty much like to do an against the grain pass, but we'll see how it goes. I have just about 24 hours of growth. So I'm, I frankly just might not need it. Man, the soap, it's <laughs> so good. So my, I say my statement on the soap is it's as good as anything I've ever used. It's not the best I've ever used. But it's certainly not worse than the best I've used. So yeah, that is, it's very, very good. So let's do a small bit of cleanup here. There's still plenty of soap on the brush. Funny, because every time I use this razor, I'd be happy to use this razor every day. This is, uh... Such a friendly, forgiving shaver. Great, great shape. Okay, so let's get um, all the soap out of the brush here. There's gonna be quite a lot. Yep. Let's uh, try and build the Himalayas. Oh, there's one, there's two peaks, three peaks. <laughs> I'm a child, I agree. Okay. Uh, as per usual, I'm gonna kind of uh, rub this into the face, clean up my gear, and I'll see you guys for the post shave. See you in a sec. Hey guys, it's uh, post shave time. Whoa. That was a very, very good shave. Okay, so we're going to be using uh, what I think is one of the best aftershaves on the planet. This is Male Grooming's Helio Opteris or Helio Opteris. 
Uh, this is um, male grooming's take on a fougere, so matching the theme. Oh, that's such a good scent. Uh, it's matching the theme of the soap. Three little splashes. Um, I've pretty much stopped buying aftershaves because um, I'm going to be pretty, in my opinion, you're pretty hard pressed to find anything as good as this. It leaves my skin feeling soft all day, like I've put a moisturizer on when I haven't. Um, the scent strength is in the upper tier and it will last throughout the day as well. Uh, it's forgiving on your skin and it's full of skin food. It's a fantastic product. If you haven't had a chance of using it, I highly recommend it. Like I do with Murphy and McNeil. Um, Murphy and McNeil are, I'd say, in my top three. Um, I'd say easily. Uh, they are, uh, I'm not sure if it's their first soap base, but if it is, that's mighty impressive for how good it is. I would say that uh, slickness is elite, residual slickness is elite, post-shave is very, very good, not quite elite, very, very good, and the general protection on your skin is also outstanding. You saw the kind of voluminous lather I managed to build in quite a short amount of time. It requires hydration, but it's good hydration. It's not the sort of, I'm there for 15 minutes trying to hydrate it. I tend to load heavy anyway, so that is something. But yeah, this is a, this is a, I'd say this is an unprecedented time in the wet shaving world. You know, I've been, I've been doing this for about a year and a half now, and I found that you are just absolutely spoiled for choice. Like, uh, I purged my den recently full of stuff I don't use, and I've been looking for... I'd say more premium soaps. Like, I'm not gonna sound like an asshole, that's kind of what I've been looking for. And frankly, there are more than, by far, more than I can afford. It's, it's crazy, like, the amount of choice we have now, and it's fantastic for consumers and fantastic for the artisans that are making them. Um, Murphy and McNeil soap base gets two thumbs up. The scent also gets two thumbs up. You're gonna see another two um, soaps from them in the next couple of months. I hope you've enjoyed the video guys and thank you for coming if you're new here. If you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed, please, can, please consider doing so because I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, it's not easy being a young guy in this um, kind of wet shaving YouTube space. Most of the guys are older and I decided to break the mold and kind of do it my way. Uh, you'll always get the truth from me. I've used some shit stuff and I've used some good stuff. Just so happens that most of the stuff now is pretty damn good. Yeah, uh, it's been your host Jack with the Virtual Groom Room. Have a fantastic weekend. Goodbye for now.